we're about to put one dog's nose to the ultimate test. Neil Powell is an expert who trains sniffer dogs. One of his top performers is search and rescue dog, Fern. Today, she's going to try to sniff out something Neil has hidden, a canister containing pork meat. But what's extraordinary is that it's not on dry land. It's in the lake, deep underwater. What we're going to do is take Fern out and use her sending ability and uh, try to pinpoint it. This isn't just a stunt, it's serious work. Fern has been trained to detect the bodies of people who've drowned. So this is an ultimate test of the dog's sending ability. Uh, it's, it's probably as difficult as it gets. Neil and the dive team know precisely where the canister is hidden because they fixed a GPS position on it. The question is, can Fern even get close? The team's search technique is to systematically crisscross the lake. So at some point, Fern will be brought directly downwind of the hidden lure. But will she pick up the scent of the decaying meat? The lake is a mile long and half a mile wide, and only the tiniest quantities of chemicals from the meat will be reaching the surface. Of that, most will be getting blown away. And yet around 10 minutes after they start to crisscross the lake, Fern senses something. Turn her up to the wind, John. Once she's indicated on the scent plume, we'll take her out of the scent plume as quickly as we can. So then she stops barking. And now what we'll try to, try to do is work our way downwind again, crisscrossing the wind, until she starts to bark again. Neil and the search team have honed their partnership with Fern to an arc. Neil can tell from Fern's body language when they're at the exact spot. But once you're right over the top of it, you'll see her going over the side a little bit more, and she's really focused on the water. You're getting her right into the sea there. See that? Bring her around there, John. Right round, John. There. I'd put her there, there, John. All right. Fern's made it clear where she thinks the canister is. Neil is confident she's got the right spot, and so he drops the marker in. But there's only one way to know if Fern's correct. The dive team move in to check it against the GPS fix they took when they threw in the canister. And unbelievably, Fern is right on top of it. In a lake a kilometre wide and half a kilometre long, Fern's nose has found the exact spot. There you go. What a clever girl. What a... The diver's final job is to try and retrieve the canister. But the lake bed has a surprise in store. The bottom is a meter of soft silt, and the canister has sunk right through. The dive team don't stand a chance. Amazingly, Fern hasn't just sniffed the lure through six meters of water, but also through a meter of mud as well. 